How's it going guys? Right, so I don't know what is going on at the minute. Like honestly, I rested my voice for five days. I came back, I warmed it all up for Monday and I just couldn't sing. Hello! 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 So I mean, it's just weird. Guys, I hope you're having a quality evening. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, I know a lot of you are out trick-or-treating, so a lot of you might not have seen it. If you want to go and watch it, go and have a little cheeky Halloween update. But I do not watch very much TV. Mainly, I watch nothing but YouTube. Like you're doing right now. High five. <laughs> But I'll tell you one thing I do have an addiction to. That's TV series. That's TV programs. I don't tend to watch them on TV, if I'm honest. I tend to, like, watch them online. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. So, what I thought would be like a nice interesting touch, because I know a lot of you out there have series that you are very connected with. And let's be honest, these TV series, because they're a rolling week thing, you get so connected with so many characters. And then when you have to see them go, or when you have to witness them having a heartache, you feel it too. You get so embedded in that story. It's amazing. It's, it's actually incredible. Like... It's basically like this, like YouTube where you connect with each other. So I'm going to do a countdown of my top five ever TV series, right? These are my personal choices, my personal favourite. What I would love for you guys to do below is just list one, two, three, four, five, your top five personal favourite series of all time yourself in the comments below. It's really going to help me because I need a new series soon and hopefully I'll find some new ones that I have not mentioned in mine below and then I'm going to start watching them. Yeah, right, so let's dive into this. So, without further ado, let's dive into this top five. Coming in at number five for me, personally, this is a little series called Dexter. Oh my god, this series was incredible. I own you. Headshot. Now, I'm going to try to avoid as many spoilers as possible in this, so I'm just going to give a quick background of what the show's about. It's about a guy who works as a blood spatter analysis down in Miami. He is a secret serial killer. Now, I don't want to delve into this too much, just again, because I don't want to spoil anything for any of you guys. This is not a spoiler kind of video. I want you to go and watch this show and let me know what you think. Dexter, my favourite character throughout this entire thing, is Deborah. Debbie, I'll put a picture of her here. She's just... A strong independent woman, do you know what I mean? If you have a favourite character, let me know below. Dexter is definitely coming in at number five for me. It was very, very close. Coming in at position four for me is American Horror Story. Uh, who are you? <laughs> Troy? Oh, I have wasted many a night watching these series. I love the fact that it's got the same actors all the time, mostly, and it kind of rolls out across a different story each series. Like, a lot of people said they haven't liked kind of the hotel one. I loved the hotel one. Series one for me, though, was, oh, it's just something so enchanting about it. I think my favourite actor across all of the series, I'm just going to put a picture of a few of his characters here and here because... Why not? And I'll put his name here. Let me know your favourite character below, your favourite season of American Horror Story as well if you're watching it. Coming in at number three for me, Boys and Bays, is a little show I like to call Prison Break. Oh, oh, please tell me some of you have watched Prison Break. Prison Break is addicting, it's frustrating, it's all about government conspiracies and ah. Does T-Bag have a real name? That is my real name. Damn, big. That sounds... <laughs> A guy who breaks into a prison to kind of break his brother out who's been he's been staged for murder. And it's just oh it's just it unravels in such an incredible way. And the, the lead actor in it is just so incredibly talented. And I think this is the role he was born to play, because I've seen him in other films and I'm not a big fan of him. Wentworth Miller, let's show him here. Oh god, look at him, he's so attractive. Let me rub him. Right. But yeah, he's got this uh, thing where he's just stupidly intelligent and he just picks things apart with his brain. Again, I don't want to spoil anything about that, but I seriously suggest you get into Prison Break because you will not want to stop until you're finished. Coming in at number two, baby. Wait there, coffee break. Breaking Bad, baby. Breaking Bad is a show and a half, mate. Like, honestly, I don't get why people say you have to really push yourself through season one and then you get addicted. It's like, nah, nah, nah. I, I literally, I was addicted the whole way through. I love the characters. I love the story. Chemistry teacher gets diagnosed for cancer and he goes into the meth trade. Again, this isn't a spoiler. You just have to watch episode one and it's all explained. Oh, it's just, it's just incredible, man. He goes into it, manufacturing that perfect meth. So my favorite character in this entire series has to be Dad, 
Jesse. Oh man, Jesse for me. I find him a bit of a whiny penis sometimes, but at the same time, I just can't not love him. But coming in at my number one spot, and I, I didn't think, if I'm being honest, that I would have given it this, but stuff that's happened in the show very recently definitely just shows why I love it so much. Coming in at number one for me is AMC's The Walking Dead. I just adore this show, man. I don't know about you, I have a zombie movie addiction. There's something I love about it. Headshot, 360 no scopes. Aim for the head, kill the brain. There's just something I love about so many of them. And the fact that I can watch a series on a weekly basis of characters I adore. By the way, favorite characters. Now, Daryl. God, I love Daryl. It's okay, Daryl. We all understand. Definitely, Walking Dead for me is just a show. There's very few shows that I'm literally waiting for the next episode and I'll watch it on the night it comes out. Most of the time, we're like, I'll watch it tomorrow when I've got a bit more time, but nah. You'll probably see by my recent React video, I'm, I'm literally there waiting for the next episode. So, YouTube, that is my top five TV series of all time that I love, lowest to highest there. There's loads of the other ones that I watch that I could go into, but they are definitely the ones that I've invested the most of my time and the most of my emotion into. Let me know below your top five. If you watch any of the series that I watch as well, which I'm sure a few of you do, let me know who your favorite character is from each of those series, and if you want, what your favorite season is in the comment section below smash a like if you enjoyed guys if you smash a like i'll know you want some more of these top five videos and i'll see you in tomorrow's video bye